Thank you so much. This is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents with an anonymous viewer that had a highly unnerving warning dream. Very vivid, in color, everything. And I want you to hear what this young lady has to say. Thank you for um, just talking with me about it and stuff. I do. I really appreciate it. Um, uh, well, in my dream, I, I woke like when it started initially, I was just in the city, like in a city. I'm not exactly sure which city, like New York, or there was. I remember I was standing in a street, looking, and the nighttime. It was night, and there was a skyline. I could see the buildings and everything, and just very suddenly, I remember seeing a very large, like a moon, three times its size. It was red, um, and I was. It just like really caught me off guard, and I looked like closer like what did I just see and as I was looking at it I seen darker red spots like smaller red spots on the moon okay was, wait a minute wait a minute let me ask you this did it look like the blood moons look yes it was like red like the blood moons but way larger like four times the size of a regular moon and was it redder or was it as as faint of a red as the blood moon no, it was a lot more red it was a lot more red okay. and then like I seen those these smaller like darker darker red spots and I was like trying to look closely at them even though it was like bigger I still had to like look at it and then I seen that they were moving like flowing really bright dark red spots and then when I looked at it it looked like like the sun burst you know like if you see a close image or a video of the sun like moving and like exploding right got really a lot like immediately I just knew this wasn't like good and I was like oh this could like was something bad I wasn't exactly sure and then all of a sudden while I was trying to process what I was seeing um it's like that was, the largeness of the moon was like shrinking like in a, in a less than a blink of an eye like got sucked up into the sky like it shrunk smaller like it like it got pulled out of the sky and disappeared yeah, yeah. wow and uh, and I just was like I got it I this isn't good I need to get home like I just knew whatever that was was not good and something was gonna happen and I needed to get home mm -hmm. um, because at my I knew at my home I had things that I needed to be prepared for whatever it was I guess and um, all of a sudden the next thing that I remember I'm in a building I'm like in the second story or third story of a building in the city I do not live in a city I haven't ever been to a city with city buildings or anything mm -hmm. but in the dream I was in a building and then I look and there's another lady there. I get, I don't know if I knew her, but I was like, we, I was telling her, I live down the street um, and I went to open the window to show her like if we just get to my house. And then I realized my kids were in the room with us and I'm like, oh, we really need to get to my house. It's like just on the block. Like it's a block away on the other side of the street. I was so close to my house um, and in the dream. It wasn't. I don't really live in a city like that, but in my dream, it was that far away. And so then I was like, really got to go. And as I'm looking at the window, I, in my peripheral on the bottom side of the building, like in the opposite direction of my house, right on the corner of our building, like that we were in was a truck full of men. It was probably like 20, I don't know, like a lot of men in the back of the pickup truck. And in my mind, like in my mind, I was like, what's going on? They were like, they are had a bunch of like, bats and just like different stuff with them like they were ready like they were all planned they were pulled up to the to the building we were at and they were like let's go let's go let's go and I was like are these like I didn't think they were like KKK members or anything because like they but weren't they wearing like they could have been what white supremacists yeah. or something yeah, like, that's what it was in my mind that's what like that's what I thought it was and yeah. I, I was like what is going on and then they they looked like they were on a mission like they were just they were really ready and they were like right in front of the building looking in the buildings where I was and the buildings next to it and all of a sudden they start rushing into the buildings like they're like go 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 now 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 it's time it's like they're running in I mean I'm in the second story and I hear like screaming I hear like doors getting busted in I'm freaking out I and so what I do is I run and get my kids and the lady and I tell them that, her to hide with them in this area of the house and we're trying like he, I told them you have to stay quiet and I went to go to the front door and there was no door on the door I, oh. at the desk and I just slum like throw the desk in front and I can hear like steps getting louder and then I see somebody coming up and I grab another few chairs and then 
I, that's all I could do. I could see like the door was halfway barricaded, and I ran to the kitchen area, which is like an open floor plan, and I started grabbing all the coffee cups. And as soon as the guy was coming in, because they were just coming in and attacking people, and uh, I just started throwing coffee cups, throwing coffee cups, and hitting them and hitting them as fast as I could. And then they all, I don't know what was going on or what happened, but then all of a sudden, all of them started to, all the the men started to flee, like out of the building. Then they went back down, like to regroup, I guess. Like I was in the building at that time, like okay, trying to figure out how I'm going to get out of this building. Yeah. How I'm going to get to the house before they come back because I had a feeling they were coming back because in my mind, I seen the, one of the guys that I was throwing the cups at and he said, okay, so this is going on. Like they were going to re-strategize how to come in, I guess. And um, I was just so scared and I was like trying to figure out how I was going to get home. And then all of a sudden I woke up and I was like so glad to be awake. I was just wow. I was very, yeah, I was like sweaty um, I my heart was pounding. I couldn't sleep for like an hour or two after that. Ooh. Well, let me ask you a question. Did it seem like they knew that the moon was going to do that bizarre? What like what I would say like I I it's just really weird. But like the way that I felt in my dream, it was like they were ready. Like it seemed like planned. Like, I mean, because in my mind, they were already in the truck, drove from where they were. There was in 20 of them. It seemed planned. It seemed, like, planned. But, like, and so, like, I'm not saying, like, they planned the moon thing. But I'm saying, like, maybe ready for a, an event like that. Or maybe it was. I don't know what it was. But it just seemed too fast and too organized and too whatever to be coincident like to be just like oh we're just having coincidence you know, I got you I got you I got I was you. very like it just was really um scary like to Ooh, that is scary now let me ask you another question because this is what occurred to me while you were describing the moon did it look like lava or could it have been blood the liquid <laughs> It, it could have been like blood, like you know when blood flows. Yeah. Um, because I just seen like like movement, like flowing, and then like I'm like seeing all this flowing, so I'm thinking like, is it like? Because it just didn't make sense to me like how the moon could do that. So I'm thinking like, you know, like the sun float, like in the videos it shows like right. moving. Exactly with all those bursts of flames and and yeah, hot liquids. Yeah, it's like why the moon was doing that. Like it was just like there was these, you know, when you look at the moon and there's those circles, light spots. Right. Sometimes you can see like it was like those, but a little smaller, and they were those red. Craters, and, craters, craters. Yes. Yeah, you know, the craters. Yeah. Like from where it was though, like it was very vibrant. You could see flowing, like movement, like all of it, just like flowing. And I was just like trying to process in my mind, like what, <laughs> like. There was just so much. I was just like overwhelmed. Like, why is the moon that big? I can big? imagine. I can imagine. One of the two of the things that came to my mind, um, sweetheart, are um, one was the possibility of it being Nibiru. That was the one. The second possibility was it was the moon, like sometimes when it gets low above a certain horizon with a certain atmosphere, the balloon, I mean, the moon looks like a great big giant balloon in the sky. Well, the thing that made me think about blood was it could have been symbolic of bloodshed. I think that could be definitely because I, I just knew it was very bad and it yeah. was very quickly. That is weird. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, that's something to pray about. Everybody who hears this video, please pray about that dream. Pray that the Lord cancels the assignments of the enemy. So when you were describing, like, oh, I understand what you're saying about the large moon. Like, there's an event or a phenomenon when it's when the moon's sitting, like, on the horizon. I've seen... Like something happens where it's like this big, and then you were showing me like this big, and then all of a yeah. sudden the says it's on the horizon. Mm. Like a clear, a clear sentence of a thought, it's on the horizon. Wow, and that sounds like God just spoke to you right there, sweetheart. Like, like I like almost 
I'm about to cry. Like, wow. Like, a thought, clear as day. It's on the horizon. That's scary. A few months back, I got a message through. It was just a prophetic video, but it was talking about speaking against a war on racism that God did not ordain. So I've been praying for that, but it was so impactful for me at that time that I wrote it on the front page of my Bible. I want to repeat what she said, you guys. She said, pray against a racial war that God did not ordain. And that, and that was the only thing, like was said, the other thing that I said was, this is a, this is something that you can pray for that can be changed. There's going to be another thing that we, we can't pray to change because if God has ordained that. Wow. To pray against. Wow. But we don't know what that other event is, do we? No. Well, I, he, it was another war, but I think it uh, was the war like against heaven and like the war against God and the enemy. The but Armageddon. That, like there's nothing we can change about that. That's going to happen. Right, right. But we can pray against the race war that God did not ordain. Yes. 